as a little introduction, um, my name is Carl Stearns, and I'm with Gutter Brush, and I'm here with Randy Schreiber as one of the owners of Gutter Brush. And, and today we decided we're going to have a, a live webinar where we can answer some questions, do a short presentation about uh, various things to do with gutter damage, um, gutter cleaning, different ways to protect your gutters from, from clogging, and of course tell you about uh, a little bit more about Gutter Brush. Um, let you know this is a webinar, so you can hear us, but we can't necessarily hear you. However, if you look over on the right there, you should have a chat box in which you can type your questions, and we'll be happy to answer those as as we go. And uh, with that, introduce you to Randy Schreiber. Hey, Randy. Hi, guys. How are you? I'm glad glad you all made it. Thanks for the attending the first Gutter Brush webinar. <laughs> All right. Uh, look, yeah. looking, forward, looking forward to uh, to sharing some information with you and answering some of the questions you've passed along and trying to address the, the common questions that occur in uh, in some of our day to day interactions with with customers and people who are shopping for gutter protection. So um so Carl and I have prepared a few things and we've also gotten some some questions and responses from from the folks who are registered here today. So this is a, a trial run for us. So bear with us. We, we'll do our best and um and certainly appreciate any feedback and questions you have along the way. All right, and then plus, you know, if you if you stick with us, we got a we got a little bonus at the end. So, um, so Randy, let, let's just discuss a little bit about gutter damage, um, things that can happen to your house. We might be preaching a little bit to the choir here with with these folks, but I know when I bought my first house, about the last thing on my mind as a, as a young guy was worried about what my gutters were doing. After about two years, my dad kind of pointed out the fact that, uh, you know, my gutters were clogged and, and I better do something about it before I was, uh, you know, paying through the nose. So what are some of the things that you've seen that clogged gutters are really causing problems for people? Well, and that's a good point, Carl. And, uh, and we, a lot of our you know, home improvement experts and folks that have been around the, you know, doing maintenance and upkeep on homes for a long time will agree that, that water is really public enemy number one when it comes to your home. And if, uh, if you're not you're getting water off the roof and away from your home uh, effectively. Water can end up in places where it definitely shouldn't be, and it can cause a lot of hassles and trouble and expensive damage to your home. So, um, is so that's where gutters be, perform a very critical function in terms of keeping keeping your home safe and secure from water damage and and problems. So, I mean things like uh, rotting wood, um, fascia damage, uh, soffits that that corrode. And if gutters you know, back up uh, to the point where water is being pushed up into the house, you can get water damage to walls and, in, and internal ceilings where you've got you know, drywall and ceilings to replace. Um, mold growth can occur. So there's a, there's a whole host of, of problems and issues that can occur if water is not being directed away from the house. Um, this time of year, one of the biggest issues people face are ice dams, where if gutters aren't flowing and, and functioning properly, when, and if you have debris in there that freezes, it can create a solid mass that eventually you know, turns into an ice dam and, and really uh, backs up and pushes water and ice up under your shingles and into your, into your home. So those are areas that um, we try to address and try to make, make sure customers are aware of the, the dangers that can occur and some of the damage if gutters aren't functioning and flowing properly. Not to mention, I guess, um, the additional expenses that that come with with regular gutter maintenance. If you're if you have to pay to have your gutters clean multiple times per year, or um, pay for damage that occurs along the way if they're not functioning, those are all things to consider in terms of um, the value that that gutter guards can present and and making sure that your gutters are functioning properly year round. Great. So, you know, as opposed to having to clean them which requires you to go up on your ladder and potentially fall. Um, what, are, what are some of the, all the different types of alternatives? I know we're going to get to talking about gutter brush, but there are other alternatives as well to keep, keep leaves and debris out of your gutters. Um, what are some of those alternatives that are available? There are. There's, there's a lot of different options out there that people have probably seen if, they, if they've done some shopping for gutter guards. Um, some of the most common that have been around a long time are, are screens that go over your gutters. Um, there's a variety of systems of covers or hoods that, that can go over your gutters. Um, there's fine mesh. There's, uh, there's a sponge, sponge type product that goes into your gutter. Um, so there's, there's no shortage of, you know, typically it's a, it's a screen or a cover that, that is, uh, you know, trying to act as a, 
as a barrier to leaves and debris. But um, and they've all got their pros and cons. I mean, including gutter brush, there's uh, there's benefits to benefits and and pitfalls. I think to all of them. And um, and so it's it's good to kind of know your options and know the type of debris you have coming around your home and which which solutions might provide the best performance for you. Yeah. Well, I know with my first home and after my dad pointed out the problem, you know, our first thing was to go right down to the gutter, um, not the gutter store, but the hardware store and grab some screens. And quickly I found out within a couple of years, you know, some of the downfalls to that. Sure, they were cheap, fairly easy to put in. Um, but, you know, we were finding that they were popping out and different things like that. Is, is that pretty common? It is. That's one of the most common things we, we face in terms of feedback from customers um, that, that have used screens. Uh, they're generally, they're, they're, it's like an interference fit in the top of the gutter, or sometimes they're, they're slid under your shingles. Um, but you're right. You know, when, when a heavy limb or something comes down, a lot of times those screens can pop out or collapse into your gutter. And, uh, and that, that ends up, you know, causing more more harm than good many times because it starts catching and collecting everything that's trying to flow through your gutter and, uh, and really presents a lot of trouble long term. So some of the screens, uh, that, that's one of the bigger pitfalls, depending on the, the size of the openings, uh, they can also allow you know, small seed pods and things to, to get down in your gutter where they can germinate. And I've had a lot of you know, photographs and things from, from customers who are showing, you know, little trees and, sh and you know, growth that, that occurs in their gutters from, uh, you know, from screens that are letting just too much debris through. Okay. And then in terms of, you know, the, the covers or helmets, as you want to call them, you know, there, there's some, definitely some pros and, and cons to those, you know, and granted, you know, obviously we're a little bit biased, but, you know, in, in, your, um, in your opinion, what are some of the pros and cons in terms of, of helmets from your, in your experience, you know, with some of our customers as well? Well, the, the, the helmets are, are probably, you know, some of the more common solutions that you'll find from from the national franchise companies there's a lot of people out there that are that have a, a variety of different covers or helmets um, the the benefits that they have is that they they're very good at blocking you know large debris they're, they're you're taking the the whole opening of your gutter and you're narrowing it down to just a, a small area where water filters in so when it comes to blocking the large you know, large leaves and debris they do a pretty good job um, you will have issues where once once that helmet or that cover gets wet, it, it's not nearly as effective as when it's dry in terms of you know debris you know uh, sliding off the edge of that of that cover. But um, but some of the some of the pitfalls, I guess, are I guess one of the biggest ones is the cost. They're they're dramatically more expensive than some of the do-it-yourself systems or systems like gutter brush. Um, it can they can cost up into the you know twenty to thirty dollar per foot range, which can be thousands of dollars for for many homeowners. And um, and so and the other you know, big change or big uh, difference between the, those systems and ours is the the complexity of installation and the access for maintenance. So um, most people will tell you that there's no perfect solution out there. They they all require some sort of maintenance at some point in their in their future. And the the covered systems are typically ins installed under your shingles or they're mounted to the front of your gutter somewhere where. To, to access your gutters in the future, if you ever have to address any cleaning or, or maintenance, it's much more complicated to remove that system and, and get access to your gutters. So that's where a lot of the home service professionals and, and our, a lot of our customers have provided feedback saying that the, the simpler the system, the better in many ca cases, where if you have something that's easy to install and doesn't interfere with your roof or shingles um, and is easy to remove and clean if and when maintenance is, is necessary, um, that's where we've really see, received a lot of great feedback and high marks for the performance of gutter brush compared to a lot of the other solutions that are out there. Right. So basically what you're saying is, you know, gutter guards aren't really there to absolutely 100 percent or or let's say 200 percent eliminate maintenance. Is that that correct? It is. Yeah, I think that I think you'll you'll face maintenance with any any solution out there, and um, and much of that depends on the the size of the debris that you have around your home. If you have a lot of you know just big broad leaves, um, there's a lot of you know most most systems are fairly effective against the big you know broad leaves and, and debris. Um, when you get into the more the finer you know pine needles and you know seed pods and and the the smaller fine debris that comes down, that's where the systems you know have quite a difference in, in what they can what they can prevent from entering your gutters and what happens when that debris does enter your gutters. So um, yeah, again, none of them are maintenance free, but I, we think that gutter brush represents one of the easiest solutions to install and to maintain your gutters if, uh, if and when maintenance is, is needed. Okay. 
All right. Well, well, let's go ahead and talk about gutter brush. Um, I see you got one right there behind you. Um, oh yeah, if we do, I've got, I've got. This yeah. is a, uh, this is a larger piece. This is a piece we we manufacture it in five different diameters for uh, for various gutter styles and shapes. This is a a larger a larger brush for for bigger commercial systems. But you can see it's, um, you know, this is of a this is a uh, five and a quarter inch you know brush for an oversized gutter. But um, we manufacture it all from from three and a quarter inches all the way up to eight inches, and the most common that we have is um, is this brush right here. I'll just show you. This is an example of a display we use with our retail partners and contractors. But you can see the brush how it sits inside of a gutter. Um, this brush here is is this is a standard five inch gutter. The brush itself measures four and a quarter inches to go inside that gutter, and it creates kind of a rounded profile. You can see it. The the roof line comes down. The gutter brush creates kind of a rounded profile and helps really direct most things away from the gutter. Um, you will get some small things in the top of the brush, but most of that most of that dries out and blows away through natural weather cycles, or it can break down into small small particles that are able to wash through the gutter. Um, the installation, as you can probably expect, is is as simple as sorry if that sounds like nails on a chalkboard, but um, basically just taking you know these sections of brush. I'll try to hold it you know slow, but you. Take the take the brush and, and slide it into the gutter. There's again no tools required. It, it installs underneath the, the gutter mounting bracket that typically holds the gutter to the home. There's usually a spike or a bracket that holds the gutter to the house, and the brush slides right underneath there, and that helps hold everything in place without the need for any tools or fasteners. So that's that's the that's the basic product right there. It's uh it's it's very simple. They come in three foot lengths, and this is an 18 inch piece that we also include in our packages to help customers finish the uh, various lengths of gutter they may have without having to, to cut anything or any tools needed. So most of the pieces you receive in our boxes are three feet long, and they're very simple. You're just taking three foot pieces and sliding them into your gutter channel. And then you've also got these shorter pieces that are handy for finishing shorter lengths. Um, and as another, as another, uh, uh, I guess installation tip, if you get to the end of the gutter and you've got a few inches too much brush, uh, you, you don't need to cut it. The brush is flexible enough that you can just take a piece and bend it right back into itself and create a shorter custom length, which is a handy thing to do to, to really avoid the need for any cutting or tools for installation. Okay. And I'm not sure if you've stated this before, but it does come in various lengths so that um, you, know, you can figure out the length of your gutters, correct? It does, yeah. What you what you typically do is measure the total length of gutter you're trying to protect. If it's if it's your entire house or just a portion of your house where you have trouble, you measure the linear footage of gutter you're looking to protect, and then we've got a variety of different pack sizes that contain different total total linear footage quantities, and we can usually get within six to ten feet of, of whatever your needs might be. So for um for our most popular size, the size I just showed you, are for standard five inch gutters. We manufacture that in packages that have 15 feet, 30 feet, 60 feet, and 120 feet. So we typically mix and match those boxes to get you the, as close as we can to your total total uh, footage needs. Okay. Now one of the, one of the questions we have here is, and you may have just answered it, <laughs> is, do I have to you know install gutter brush the entire length of the of the gutters, or can I just put it over my downspouts? Um, what are the pros and cons of doing either. A lot of people you know, start off with um, with kind of testing it over their downspouts. They, you know, it does a great job of keeping the downspouts you know clear of, of clogs. But um, as you might expect, the rest of your gutters would still be open then for for debris to build up. And over time, some of that debris can build up and back up against the the brush where it exists. So um, what a lot of people do is they they'll order a small quantity to test it first, and then determine you know the performance that they're getting and make sure they're comfortable with the way it's working and performing in their application. And then they'll uh, purchase additional product to protect the rest of their home. But um, generally, you really you don't necessarily have to put it in your entire house if you if you've got you know if the back of your house is near the woods and you get a lot of you know a lot of leaves and debris in the, in that area but the front is is fairly protected and you don't have trouble then i would just just uh suggest installing it in areas that you have to face regular cleaning or the areas that you've seen seen uh, trouble in the past all right the um let's see now you mentioned um small debris and how some of the uh different systems out there have trouble with small debris? 
you could talk a little bit more, could you elaborate a little bit more about that as well as how does gutter brush handle it um i would say small debris is probably the toughest for most of the systems to to really you know keep out of your gutter and and gut and for gutter brush you know the smaller the debris what we tell customers is that it might require a little bit more maintenance in terms of uh making sure your gutters remain flowing and and functioning um if you have an abundance of pine needles or maple helicopter seeds and things like that, um, most customers have told us that they've reduced their gutter cleaning from in, in situations with a heavy load of pine needles. We've talked to customers that have been cleaning their gutters you know, six or more times per year, and they've told us that since they've installed gutter brush, they've reduced their cleaning down to maybe once every year and a half or two years, they have to you know, pull some pieces of brush out and shake out some debris and slide them back in. So I, we, we don't promise that you'll never touch your gutters again, but in cases with a lot of small debris, we, we wanna set reasonable expectations to say that at some point, you're, you're likely gonna have to pull out a few pieces and shake them clear to maintain you know, maximum flow through that brush and make sure that any little, little things that accumulate over time don't restrict the flow of water too much. So, um, but I think that's where that's where our system again, you know, really shines compared to others. Where um, if you've got a cover or something like that on on your gutter, you're still going to get small debris that 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 wraps around that edge or goes through the screens, and uh, and and then any cleaning or maintenance becomes much more difficult for uh, you know, for accessing your gutters. All right. So basically, with with gutter brush, you, your statement is that you know you're preventing clogs not necessarily 100% eliminating all maintenance, um, but it does reduce a lot of maintenance. I've seen them from a lot of customers say they used to clean their gutters four times a year. Now they're only doing it maybe once every two years. Correct. Um, yeah. It's certain areas. Yeah. Yeah. We try to, we try to, you know, again, set reasonable expectations and, and we'd really just, the, the goal of gutter brush is to keep gutters flowing and really keep, you know, prevent clogs and really reduce or eliminate the majority of the cleaning that and, and general maintenance that, that homeowners face. So instead of being up on there on, the, on that dangerous ladder multiple times per year cleaning, hopefully it's something that's a that's a very rare occasion where you may have to you know address a little bit of maintenance, but it's just you know pulling some brushes out, shaking them clear, and sliding them back in, where you're not uh, you're not addressing you know quite the, the not anywhere near the level of debris and, and cleaning that you would face otherwise. Okay. Yeah. No, another question was how does um, in terms of a pretty heavy rainfall, um, they noticed that with with the uh, helmets and the covers, that the water would just overflow right over the top. And um, are there any advantages with gutter brush in in regard to that? I think that's that's an important area, and uh, and a lot of people have provided that feedback where. Um, all the systems are pretty good when it's a when it's a moderate or light rain. Uh, when you get the heavy downpours, is where the systems that are that are covered. If 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 the majority of your gutters are covered, um, sometimes there's just not enough surface adhesion or not enough of the what they they call surface adhesion, where the, where the water is trying to wrap around those covers and and draw the water into the gutter. But during a heavy rain, or if the or if the cover has been you know. If it has you know dirt and dust and pollen on it, you know water doesn't travel over it the same way. So we get a lot of people saying that during heavy rains, the covered systems, you know, much of the water goes right off the edge of the gutter, which can create damage around the home and you know wet basements and foundations and landscape destruction and things along those lines. Um, gutter brush. One of the advantages there is that our your gutter is wide open. So I mean you're you're not covering anything up. Your your gutters are, are wide open to receive. You know, all that all that rainwater that's coming down, and the brush probably really acts as a as more of a, a it almost ca catches the water that's coming off the roof versus versus allowing it to flow over. Um, you know, it, I guess during a heavy heavy rain, the water, the presence of the brush in the gutters is going to slow down the flow of water a little bit. But it's been very rare that we've had any anybody report that they've had uh, had any issues with the brush in their gutters during heavy rains. It it really it, it allows the maximum flow of water into the gutters and and through your gutters. Okay, great. Um, another question is, we offer, it says you offer four different sizes, you know, four, five inch, we offer the six inch, seven inch, and the eight inch. How do you figure out which which size gutter brush that you would need? And what are you referring to, I guess, in terms of five, six, seven, and eight inch? That's a good question. A lot of people are confused because we, we typically talk about our gutter brush in terms of the size of the gutter. Um, so this this gutter we, we used as an example here, this is a, a five inch gutter and I don't, I do have a, uh, hang on one second, I've got a tape measure I'll show real quick. 
This is a, when we talk about a five inch gutter, we're talking about the measurement of basically, I don't know if you can see that on here, but five yeah, inches. Why don't you hold it still? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll try five inches from the, from the back of the gutter to the, to the front, to the front edge. I don't know if you're seeing that or not, but you should get about a five inch measurement right across the front of the gutter. And that, that's basically where they, what they talk about a five inch gutter. Um, our brush for that gutter measures a little bit smaller than that because it goes inside the gutter. So this brush for a, for a standard five inch gutter measures four and a quarter inches in diameter. So you might see references on the website to four and a quarter inch brush for a standard five inch gutter. Um, the, the smallest size we make is three and a quarter inches. And that's typically for smaller custom gutters that are found on mobile homes, uh, sunrooms and porches and uh, different smaller gutter systems. So that's the smallest size we make. The, sta the standard four and a quarter inch is the, is the, um, is the most popular. Uh, the next sized up is for what they call six inch oversized gutters. And then we've got two, two uh, larger sizes that are typically on commercial and industrial buildings. One is six and a half inches and the largest size we make is eight inches. So we make it all, all the way from three and a quarter to eight inches. And what you're typically doing is measuring the, measuring the, the diameter of your gutter across the top. So right from the back where the gutter meets the home to the outer edge of the gutter. And that'll determine the gutter size you have. And then we've got the product listed on the website according to gutter size. We also show the diameter of the brush, but sometimes that creates a, usually the, the diameter of the brush is slightly smaller than the, than the gutter size. Sorry if that was a long-winded explanation for that one. <laughs> That's all right. Well, you stated that the, the five inch is the most popular. Do you, is that the most common for residential? Is that, is that what you mean? It is. Yeah. This, 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 this gutter right here is, is probably, I mean, that's probably found on close to 80% of our, of the homes that are 80% of the residential properties that we work with. You have, will have this, this size gutter. It's a standard five inch gutter. It's by far the most popular with uh, seamless gutter companies and people that are rolling out brand new gutters in, in new buildings or making gutter repairs. So this is most likely what you've got in, in a residential property um, or the six inch oversized is the next, the next most common for residential. Um, newer homes are being you know, frequently built with a little bit bigger gutters because they handle more water flow. And a lot of the newer homes have got much larger roof lines than, than older homes. So, um, so that's been a, a popular size you know, for newer, newer construction. But, but the five inch is still by far the, the most popular for us. Okay. And then um, we just had a question about pricing, which states, you know, it's on the website, but I think probably a, a more clear question would be, how does the price of gutter brush um, compare with, with other systems? We're generally on the lower end of the price scale. We, we're not the cheapest product out there. You can certainly find, as we talked about before, you can find a roll of screen or different things at some of the some of the hardware stores that'll be a little bit less expensive than gutter brush. But in most cases, um, gutter brush for a for a typical home with with standard size gutters uh, runs between three three and four dollars a foot, depending on the on the uh, the, le the linear footage you need. And so most most homes, I would say most customers, if they're protecting their entire home, most homes are between two and three hundred dollars for for uh, for a general home that's for probably about sixty to sixty to ninety feet of, of gutter is uh would would run you somewhere around two to three hundred dollars typically okay all right um, uh, this isn't a question I'm getting in the in the live chat however it comes up quite a bit so I'll, I'll go ahead and bring it up and you talked a little bit about that but um, we often get the question of whether or not gutter brush should be left in the gutters year round. And, and I always think to myself is, boy, if I had to remove them every year, <laughs> it wouldn't be a very good product for me. But uh, go ahead. <laughs> it's, it, it is a common question. It's something that, uh, especially up in the Northeast and Midwest, when, uh, when you've got some severe winter weather, a lot of customers want to know, can I leave gutter brush in year round? Is it okay to be left in there under winter icy conditions? And the answer is yes. It's, it's meant to be left in your gutters year round, you know, through all seasons. And um, particularly in the, in the winter time, we've, we're getting a lot of great feedback these last couple of years with the severe winters that we're having is that um, the presence of the brush in the gutters has been helpful in reducing or in many cases eliminating uh, 
previous problems with icicles and ice dams. And we believe that the reason for that is that, as you can tell, the, the brush is black in color. And when black is, uh, is exposed to sunlight, even if the, even if the temperature is, is cold, uh, black tends to warm up when it's exposed to the sun. And we've had a lot of people tell us that they've experienced significant improvement in, in uh, issues they had they had in the past with icicles and ice dams. So uh, we're happy to happy to report that. And uh, we don't really tout it as something that's going to you know totally solve an ice problem, but we we haven't had anybody that's told us that it's uh, that's contributed to it. And in in many many cases, uh, it seems to be a, a big factor in reducing ice ice dams and ice buildup. Okay. Um you know, another question we get, and we're getting towards the end here, um, but I thought we should probably bring this up because I'm certain people would be interested, is could you tell us a little bit about the gutter brush, uh, you know, happy customer guarantee and uh, how that works? And and I know it to be legit, so I just I just want to hear it from the boss here. All right. We, well, we, you know, we're, we're a small family company and we, we really, we stand behind the product and we want our customers to have a great experience with, with gutter brush. And we know that, it, you know, it, it's not a perfect system and there, there's cases out there where it doesn't perform as well as we'd like it to. And if that's the case, we want to, we want to hear from customers. We want to make sure that they understand that we're here for you. We, we know that um, if you're, if you're not happy with the performance, we're happy to assist with, with a return or refund. Um, you know, we're very liberal with this policy, and um, and I'm happy to say that in uh, coming up on 13 years right now, we've had very very few customers that have come back with problems or issues. But if they do, we want we want to know about it and, and make sure that people leave with a with a good feeling about our company and our product. And um, and so we we do stand behind it with a very very generous money back you know re return and guarantee. All right, you know, Randy, being a small you know family owned company, um, you know. And in, in talking about that guarantee, uh, you know, if if somebody needs to contact you, I know we sell a lot of a product online. Um, mm -hmm. We do have some product is available in Do It Best Hardware and through Ace Hardware. In most places, it's on order, but it is available in some places. But if if they call, can they call you? And, and sure. who are they going to talk to when they do? They'll, they'll, we have a pretty small team here that you'll talk to either myself or my father, Bob. Uh, we, are, we have a customer service manager, um, Sue, who you might catch, but you'll probably catch one of the three of us in, in most cases. Um, and if you don't catch us, leave a message and we'll, we'll return any phone calls as quickly as we can. But, um, but generally, we, we, we do our best to answer calls and questions directly, be it through the phone or through our, our um, website, you know, email requests. And it helps keep us in touch with our customers and helps keep a you know, good idea about where, you know, where people are running into issues and any questions they're having. So we're, we're happy to, uh, to, to, uh, to know that, you know, that we're doing our best to, to um, you know, provide the best service and, and follow up we can. All right, great. Well, we're getting to the point where we probably have to deliver on our ethical bribe to get people here. And uh, <laughs> so one of the things that Randy had thrown out there was that we were going to do a random drawing of anybody that attended that would get a free 30-foot pack of, of uh, gutter brush delivered. So I am ready to go ahead and do that. I, I basically um, just have a random drawing thing here, and, and it looks like um, it's Michael. So Michael... Um, I will have to get your last name. Let me see if I can get your last name. Um, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and send you an email and, uh, you could just give Randy a call and, um, at the number that I send to you and, um, and we'll get that taken care of for you. But on the other hand, for everybody else, uh, Randy's going to talk about an offer he's going to make to all of you right now. So go ahead. Congra Randy. Congratulations, Michael. We'll look forward to getting some uh, some gutter brush out your way. Um, one, of, one of the things we wanted to offer a lot of we've done this from time to time, and it's not always active on our website. But a lot of people would love to you know get product in their hand and get a better understanding for what it looks like and feels like, and install a few pieces in their gutter. So we're offering um, for our webinar guests a, a free six foot sample offer, where the only cost would be shipping, which I believe is about eight or eight or nine dollars to. Uh, to get to get the product shipped out but it's a free six foot trial and it's available at gutterbrush.com slash free sample so if you go to gutterbrush.com forward slash free sample you should have access to ordering six feet free of charge where the only cost is shipping and uh so we're happy to pass that along and also for any anyone who's on the webinar that needs more than six feet and is ready to place you know place a larger order we are offering a 20 percent uh discount for webinar attendees 20% off through the 20th of February. So that's about, uh, you got about 10, 10 or so days left, left to take advantage of that if you'd like. 
And the coupon code for that is just webinar, W-E-B-I-N-A-R. So if you go to gutterbrush.com and um, get an order together, use the discount code webinar and you'll save 20%. All right, Greg, let me see if there's any other questions here. Um, let's see. Okay, I've got one that says, um, let me know when, when I put it on. I'll let Randy know that when I put it on my gutter awning in the winter, I did not get ice jams. It worked great. Hey, thanks, Stephen. <laughs> great. <laughs> Glad to hear it, Stephen. Thanks awesome. for the feedback. We appreciate it. And Michael says, thank you, Randy. Yes, I'll be placing effort, placing effort into gutter brush with contractors out west this year. So that's great. Super. All right. All yeah, right. and, if, and if there's any contractors online, I don't know if, if uh, I think this webinar was out mostly to, to homeowners, but um, we do have great contractor programs and discounts, and we try to provide you know great support for contractors. So if there's contractors tuned in, we'd be happy to talk to you offline about um, you know some of the samples and brochures and just you know the display we have here is something we offer our, our contractor partners, and um, and we, we certainly appreciate all the help you, you provide, and we try to direct leads and referrals back your way as well. Great. Well, thank you, everybody, for um, attending. Um, if you've got any feedback for us on how we could do this or some subjects that we could cover, we'd sure like to hear about it. So go ahead and go to gutterbrush.com, and, and our phone number is available there. And uh, really like to hear from you. So take care. Thanks, Randy. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. And we'll, uh, I guess this is our first webinar, so the rest of them will either be better or worse than this one. But hopefully we'll make them, make them better and better as we go. Uh, we only get better. All right. Take <laughs> thanks, care. Guys. Take care. Bye-bye.